tragedy. You know, we have a piece of heavy equipment and a bridge collapse, and we do have one deceased. So we're going to be dealing with that, making the appropriate notifications, as well as trying to do um, the best we can to get the freeway open uh, within an expeditious time frame. How much concrete is on the paint? Several hundred tons. The semi driver is very lucky. A matter of seconds, and his fate would have probably been different as well. Did any of the concrete fall on any cars? Just the truck. So that it was from the concrete collapsing onto the truck. That would, that's correct. I heard he had driven into it, or did it actually fall on? on probably a little bit of both. We anticipate at least a 48-hour closure of I-75 South. Uh, what appears to have happened is, is in essence, an industrial incident, a workplace incident with respect to a construction crew that's doing work out here, uh, and uh, our our teams are here surveying the situation, uh, conducting the necessary investigations. Uh, we will work with the uh, State Department of Transportation uh, as this thing unfolds. You've got a lot of heavy equipment uh, and a very, very uh, heavy construction site. Who knows what happened, uh, but we will find out.